Hey there everybody. Today we're going to show you how to make some really incredible chicken enchiladas. You're going to love them, your guests are going to love them, and best of all, they're super easy to make. Stay tuned. Hey, if you've never been to the channel before, welcome to Fire and Froth. We focus on creating beer brewing videos, cooking videos, occasionally we'll review products, but we promise we won't sell any junk. And uh, we try to put out new videos every week. Uh, sometimes a bunch of cooking, sometimes a bunch of brewing. We'll just see how it goes. I'd like to put out one every week this year. But today we're gonna teach you about these chicken enchiladas and how we make them. And um, it's, it's really, it's one of my favorite recipes that, that we make. Uh, I found it, I don't know, maybe about a year and a half ago. But we did a couple things to it just to uh, make it a little bit better. And uh, the first thing we did I went out, I got a, um, a roaster chicken, you know, just one of those little little chickens. Um, I spatchcocked it, so I cut the spine out. I took uh, a pair of poultry shears and uh, just removed the spine. And um, I did a few other things to it, flattened it out. It, basically the whole idea with spatchcocking chicken is, or, or any, any beast like a, a turkey, is that uh, when it cooks, kind of flat, it cooks a lot more evenly. I've got a video, check out the video, we'll, we'll throw it right up there, a link to it, and, uh, and you can see how to spatchcock a chicken. So anyway, like I said, it's a very easy recipe, and the ingredients, we've got uh, tortillas, we used Taco sized tortillas, actually the ones in this video are a little bit bigger than that. They're kind of large tortillas, but the um, it, it generally you can fit about nine to 10 of them in a pan. Um, we use three cups of shredded chicken, and this is the, the spatchcock chicken that we, that we smoked. We used a little bit of peach wood, so it uh, gave it a really nice subtle smoke flavor. But you can use any chicken, I mean you could you could probably use chicken from a can even, but uh, I would recommend maybe grabbing one of those roasters from the store, you know, one of the ones that's, uh, you know, pre-cooked. You could shred that up, it'll work well, but uh, smoking it was delicious. So anyway, uh, next thing we used uh, one cup of salsa verde, and uh, we used about a one and a half uh, cups of uh, shredded cheese. We used like a, uh, a cheddar jack and uh, it worked real well. You could also use like a Mexican blend and that would probably do pretty well as well. So anyway, you uh, like I said before, you take the uh, three cups of uh, shredded chicken, you take your one cup of salsa verde and one to one and a half cups of the, of the shredded cheese, mix them all together Get them mixed thoroughly, and uh, and then it's not now time to start making your tortillas. So I take um, I take a half a cup of heavy cream, and I pour that pour that in the casserole dish that I'm going to be uh, loading the loading the enchiladas into, and uh, just make sure it's covered real well. And then uh, take your tortillas, lay them out, and uh, Put about, I don't know, one to two uh, heaping tablespoons, maybe even two to three. Load them up, uh, put, it on, uh, put it on one edge of the tortilla, and then just, just roll that thing up and, uh, and throw it in that casserole dish. And um, just keep doing that. You'll end up with about uh, nine or 10 tortillas inside the casserole dish. And uh, then I take, I take heavy whipping cream, another uh, half a cup, and uh, I pour that over the, the whole thing of enchiladas, 
and then I take a cup of shredded cheese and sprinkle that on top of the enchiladas. Now you're ready, you're pretty much you're ready to throw them in the oven. So bake at 350, you know, preheat your oven, get it ready to go, and uh, once it's ready, just, just throw it in, bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes. And um, once it's done, pull it out, you can throw it, you can um, throw it on your counter, and now it's time to make the topping. The topping is really, well, it's great, I love it. Uh, you cook some chorizo. I just take that the tube of uh, Mexican uh, chorizo and get the pork chorizo. Don't get beef chorizo um, unless you don't eat pork, and then the beef chorizo should be good. But uh, cook that up in a pan. Uh, get it nice and cooked, um, and then add a cup of heavy cream. Stir it up to combine. And you could cook it a little bit more if you want it to if you want it to thicken up, but you're pretty much ready now. And um, all you do is, I know it seems seems simple enough. Just take those uh, enchiladas out, throw them on your plate, and put some scoops of of the uh, chorizo heavy cream mixture, or essentially chorizo crema on top of your uh, enchiladas and enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, like we said, super easy recipe to make and uh, just absolutely delicious. We've, we've done it, um, I don't know how many times I've cooked this, this uh, recipe, but every time it is a favorite and it turns out great. Uh, there are lots of different things that you could do to kind of tweak it and make it a make it a little bit different, but um, but just try the one that uh, the one that we're recommending and uh, let us know how it goes. And um, be sure to subscribe and share us with your friends. So until next time, be well and come join the adventure. See ya.